In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to manipulate some of the shapes that we have in our work plane. We're going to learn how we can stretch things to make them bigger or longer. Um, we can also shrink things back down, or we can take a shape and uniformly scale it so that the whole thing grows by the same amount. Uh, we're also going to cover how to make duplicates of those shapes so we can take one shape and duplicate it again and duplicate it again as many times as needed. So here, let's get started. Here I am back at my sort of home screen. I've gone through to edit my profile a little bit. You can see right on here that you can go through and edit your profile. So I have changed my uh, nickname on here to be Art McD. That was different in the first tutorial. Uh, you can also change this picture. This one is already given to you, but if we click on the edit profile here, here we can choose a file to change it. Here we can create our own nickname, and then down here we'll see the email that we have. Okay, um, so those are just some of the features we have. I'm going to go back and click on the Tinkercad logo to bring me back to the screen that I was just at. As I scroll down, again, I'm going to be looking at my recent designs, things that I have created in Tinkercad, and I am going to go back into this one. This is the same one that we've been working in in the last two tutorials. Um, if you wanted to, you could always create a new design, but actually I'm going to click on Tinker This to continue my work. When you start building your project, this is what you're going to be doing. You're going to go back to your design and back to your design and just click Tinker This. It will bring up the work plane again uh, with everything that we've built so far. Okay, so here it is, right where we left it off when we were doing camera controls, getting the viewpoint to go down right into the corner there. So let's zoom out of this a little bit. I'm going to orbit around so that we can see what we're dealing with. Okay, so the goals again in today's lesson is we want to have a look at how to scale these shapes. So I'm going to zoom close into this one here. I'm going to pan this down so that we can have a good look at just this one shape right here. Okay, when we select the shape, what I want you to notice is all of the different controls and manipulations that are around this thing. We have a lot of anchor points, these little boxes in the corners. Uh, when those corners highlight, it will give us the dimensions that we're dealing with. Whenever I hover over it, it gives me the dimensions. So we can see that I've got, it's a 20 millimeter by 20 millimeter box right now. The conversion for millimeters to inches is 25 millimeters to an inch. Okay, uh, we'll orbit around and again, we can see the anchor points that we're dealing with here. We'll get that up to a nice viewpoint. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the things that we can do to manipulate this shape. We have a top anchor point here. If I click on that anchor point, I can stretch this shape to make it go larger or taller. Now you can see that it is a little bit taller than all of the rest of them. You could stretch this and make it as tall as you wanted to. Okay. We can take from a corner here, and if we take from the corner, it's going to let us warp this shape in whatever manner we decided to do this. So we can stretch it and make it skinny like this and really wide, or we can stretch it and go like this. Okay, so let's bring it back to what we sort of had, which was right about there. Um, here's if you want to uniformly scale the shape. You're going to need to use the keyboard on here. We're going to press the shift button and then do some of the controls that I was just doing. So I'm going to uh, press shift and then I'm going to click into the corner. And now as this thing scales, it's going to scale uniformly all the way around. Okay, so we have a lot of different controls that we can do in order to manipulate the shapes. And this applies to any shape that you might want to enter in. All these different shapes this can apply to. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to select shapes and get rid of them, get them out of the work plane right now. Select that one, get rid of it. I'm going to select this one and get rid of it. And now I'm going to work with the one here. So I'm going to pan this over to get it in a good line so that we can deal with this one. We'll orbit around it and let's select it. Let's look at some of the things that we can do with this then. Um, without pressing shift, I'm going to grab this corner and I'm going to begin to drag it out and make it into a really long shape. So let's orbit around and have a look at what we have. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, essentially what we're going to do with this though is we're going to try to create a word. So I'm going to skinny this down just a little bit. I'll do just like that. And then I'm going to take the shape itself and I'm going to move it. We learned how to do that in the last lesson. That is when you have a shape selected, you can press the click button and you can move shapes around the work plane. So I'm going to move it to right about there. Now I'm going to want a couple of duplicates of this. So while this shape is selected, I'm going to take the keyboard and I'm going to press control C on the keyboard. And then I'm going to press control V on the keyboard. And you can see that I have created a duplicate of it. So it's the exact same thing that I had, and I've just created a duplicate of it. OK, 
Okay, we have that all pretty well lined up. We'll look at it from the top here. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to paste it one more time. So we're going to paste it again and I'm going to move this one over. Now, essentially what I want to do is I want to put it right in between here. So we've got to do a couple of things to this. First of all, I've got to scale it down again. So I'm going to take from the corner and I'm going to drag this in to scale it down. But now we also want to rotate it. So I want you to look at here, we have these little arrows. Let's get to a better viewpoint to see that. When we hover over it, we get these little arrows here. This one here is going to rotate that vertically. And this one here will rotate it horizontally. So if I click on that, this will then begin to spin around. Okay. And it shows us the 90 degrees that I've turned it. So it will give us the sort of degrees that you're going as you spin this around. In fact, I do want to get this at 90 degrees. Then let's get our viewpoint happening for us again. I'm going to pan over a little bit and I'm going to take this and bring it into these boxes. Okay, that looks pretty good. When you merge shapes like this, that means that they will print all together as one solid shape. We'll learn how to group that in a different tutorial. But we have that, that's pretty good. Now I'm going to come back to this shape here that we have, and I want to paste that one again. So let's paste that in, Control V. Now I've got another one in here. Um, this one I'm going to rotate my view because I do want to scale this one down. So I'm going to take this one and bring it back in just a little bit here, maybe to about there. Let's look around it. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to paste one more time, get one more of those shapes in. And I'm going to bring this one up. Let's rotate our view because I want to take and bring this one in quite a ways all the way down, do something like that. And there's our message. Uh, in order to make this message happen, we had to learn how to manipulate the shapes using the anchor points that we find on here. The anchor points that we're looking at is on the boxes here or on the arrows here to be able to rotate things. This will change the size and shape of things. This will rotate the shape around. And then we learned how to copy and paste to make duplicates of those things. And that's it for this lesson. We were learning how to scale things, whether you want to uniformly scale things or if you want to stretch or shrink things, and then how to make duplicates of those. All of these skills are going to be brought together to help you to create an incredible 3D printed design. Thanks.